Hey everybody, this is Doug Knacker with Hissy Fit Reptiles. I want to give you guys an update on everything that's going on uh, with me as far as the snakes go. Um, I'm not going to get into any of the personal stuff in this video. I just want to show you guys what I still have available. Uh, as you know, I've been posting stuff about um, getting out of everything. Um, so what I'm actually doing um, is pretty much still that. Um, there are a few select animals that I am still going to be kind of working with, but not where they're going to be in my possession. So. I'm going to be kind of doing breeder loans with two different people that I have kind of uh, set up some stuff with. So they're going to be taking my animals, caring for them, raising them if they're not adults yet and stuff like that, breeding them. Um, we're going to kind of work together on some of the breeding projects as far as like what I'd like to see, what they like to see, producing some stuff. So I will technically be producing some animals yet, but it won't be here. Um, there will no longer be, um, for a little bit, there will be snakes on, on my on site here. But this coming weekend, um, the guy who's getting all my racks is going to be getting all that kind of stuff along with uh, whatever snakes um, I'm sending with him. I also have another guy um, that I'll be sending some stuff to. He already has a couple of my snakes that we're already working on some projects with. I am going to keep this channel going because I am going to be updating some stuff every so often with you guys, letting you guys know what's going on. There's also a handful of breeders around the area that um, I'd like to kind of get to their facilities, do some like video stuff with them. Um, Kyle Hoffman is one of the guys. I live right by Garrick DeMeyer from Royal Constructor Designs. So I'd like to maybe see about getting um, in with them as far as doing some video stuff and kind of keeping some snake stuff going on my channel, um, as well as like the Tinley shows and some other reptile shows in the area, kind of show you guys some stuff there. Um, I don't want to be out of the hobby completely because I want to kind of stay in touch. So a lot of stuff going on. You know, we got five kids. Um, not that nobody else has five kids, but two of them just kind of moved in just over the last summer um, from uh, a big custody battle I had with their mom. They wanted to live here. Well, now they finally live here. And um, just a lot of transition stuff. Um, some crazy stuff happened over the summer. Um, I actually ended up getting hurt, and I'm on short-term disability. I messed my arm up a little bit. Um, so... Part of the reason why a lot of stuff's been selling or I've been selling a lot of stuff is because uh, short-term disability doesn't pay nearly what I was making at my job. And so I just needed to sell snakes. Uh, I was going to get rid of them anyways for a while, kind of take a break, uh, regroup myself, make sure everything else is taken care of, put the family and some other stuff as a priority. Um, I wasn't spending as much time with the snakes as they needed for attention. Um, you know, I would do the typical feeding, watering, cleaning cages, but that's kind of it. You know, I didn't, I wasn't coming down and just checking on cool stuff and seeing how things are doing and progressing and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, just, I just need to kind of get away from everything for a while. Um, hopefully, I'm figuring about maybe five years from now when all the boys are gone um, and we only have the two girls left in the house along with my wife and myself, I feel like I'll have a lot more time and I'll be able to focus a lot more on other stuff as well and there won't be so much chaos and hecticness going on in the Knacker household. So um, anyways, uh, I'm going to show you first a couple animals that I am going to be holding on to. Um, now if it does come down to it and I do need to make extra money and I absolutely have to sell them, I will and if I do that I will let you guys know. But as of right now, the first few animals I show you guys are ones I'm going to hold on to. We'll not, we'll not be selling those anymore. They're taken off the market, technically. Um, and they're going to be going for the breeder loans. And then right after that, I'm going to be showing you guys all the snakes that are still available. And if you're interested in anything, please let me know as soon as possible. Because some of them are going to be going with the guy who's taking my racks. Because otherwise, I'll have no place for them to stay. I will have a, I have like a little 8-bin hatchling rack from um, sea serpents that I can house about eight snakes in. So I'm going to try to keep some of them here that I know he's not going to keep over there or whatever. And then I'm going to have a couple adults staying here. And then also the adults that there's a few snakes that I did, I'm not going to be showing in the video that I've already sold. Um, and those ones are um, just waiting to get shipped once the weather is cooperating and stuff like that. So if you're interested in any of these snakes, let me know as soon as possible. And you can put a deposit down. Um, if you're going to do a payment plan or pay it up front, and as soon as the weather is good, I will be able to do that, um, you know, ship them out. Otherwise, I will plan on being at the Tinley Show in March. Um, so if you're going to be at the Tinley Show, I can also bring the animals to Tinley 
to hand deliver you guys. So, um, but I do need at least a deposit down on it. Um, so if you're interested in anything that I'm going to show you guys, please either email me at hissyfitreptiles at gmail.com or you can leave a message on this YouTube channel or you can go on Facebook Messenger and message me under Doug Knacker or under Hissy Fit Reptiles Facebook page, uh, Hissy Fit Reptiles on, on Instagram as well. So there's a mul multitude of ways you can get a hold of me um, or, or you can um, call and leave a message or text me at 715 846 5087 as well. So again, 715 846 5087. If I don't answer, make sure you let me know that you're interested in a snake because I get a lot of spam calls and I don't answer some calls and stuff like that. So just definitely leave a message for me or shoot me a text or again or email me. Get a hold of me on Instagram, Facebook, through Messenger or on this YouTube video here. So, all right, I'm going to show you guys these snakes right now. All right, so the first one I'm going to show you guys that I am holding on to, basically, um, anything I'm holding on to is going out on breeder loan to a couple friends of mine, and so these will not be for sale anymore. Um, I had them for sale, but um, they are no longer for sale. That's uh, because I decided to hold on to some stuff. This right here is a Pastave Clown that I got from Ozzy, from Ozzy Boyd's. And uh, she is a big nine egg layer for him. So um, really nice female. Hopefully um, can do some nice stuff with some uh, pairings with uh, while well, she's on breeder loan. And then hopefully if I jump back into it, uh, she'll do some awesome stuff for me as well. So Pastave Clown Female. Next up is this girl. This is a Super Pastel Surge Yellow Belly. So uh, this has got the Surge gene in it. So again, Super Pastel Surge Yellow Belly. This girl was initially for sale. Now I'm deciding, uh, since nobody really decided to buy this one, I'm gonna hold on to it, see what we can do with the Surge gene. Um, it's a really interesting looking female here. She's pretty much breeder size. Um, actually, she's above breeder size. She Reabsorbed follicles last year, so she never ended up laying. But again, going out to breeder loan with a friend of mine, so hopefully we can see some really cool stuff with the surge gene. Super pastel surge yellow belly. Pretty cool. Head pattern on there. Next up, not for sale, is this Firefly Clown. This is a firefly clown. Really, really nice example of a firefly clown. Super clean. This is a male. So gonna try to keep keep some stuff going with the clown stuff. As you can see, it's super, super clean. Nice and bright. So a fire pastel clown. So that I will be holding on to and not selling. This girl I will not be selling, holding on to her. This is a dreamsicle, so a lavender albino pied. Again, a lavender albino pied, female. Really nice looking girl. So she's going to be on breeder loan. And actually anything that I show that the holdback will be going on breeder loan. I will not be keeping anything in my possession. Uh, for the next few years or so, and um, I have it worked out with a couple friends of mine to to work with a few animals here. So, and this girl's a little rambunctious, but nice dreamsicle female. This right here is a sizzler, the sizzler. Um, so in theory. This should be a super pastel yellow belly because the mother was a, a pastel ivory and the father was a pastel gravel. So because this is not a highway, what it should be is guaranteed yellow belly. But this is a really interesting looking snake. Um, a lot different than regular pastel yellow bellies or super pastel yellow bellies that I've seen. So really not sure what's going on with her. Um, got a re lot of really um, 
blushed out stuff. Um, the same pairing produced other stuff that did not look at anything like this. So um, we'll see. So I'm going to hold on to her, put it out on breeder loan, see if I can prove out maybe a possible new gene of some sort. Um, I call this a sizzler because it says, um, let's see here. S I S L E, <laughs> um, kind of on the body, so I called it Sizzler. I know that's not how it's spelled, but um, so if there's anything new in there, it'd be called the Sizzle gene. I don't know. There might just be. It just might be a weird-looking super pastel yellow belly. It is possible het pied, so maybe it's just that this is 100% het pied, and that's just how it looks. But pretty interesting. Super, super light, bright. And this right here is what I suspect to be a pastel calico red stripe yellow belly het desert ghost. So it's 100% het desert ghost for sure. The mother was a pastel yellow belly calico red stripe. Um, so this is almost a spitting image of her, plus it being Het Desert Ghost. So, um, pretty sure there's Red Stripe in there, Pastel for sure, Calico obviously, and possibly the Yellow Belly, but that's the thing. I'm, it's hard to tell when it gets to be, um, some of the Red Stripe combos are really hard to tell. Anyway, it's planning on holding this back to see if we can prove out um, some stuff with BB being getting a red stripe desert ghost in the future if this thing does carry red stripe for sure. Um, or yellow belly or whatever, but really cool looking female. Again, that's a pastel calico. Red Stripe, Yellow Belly, Het Desert Ghost. More than likely it's got all that stuff in there. But this is not for sale. This will be going to Breeder Loan. You raised up, bred a couple times. If I get back into it, she'll probably be up to breeder size by then. And maybe a clutch or two in the books. Alright, now stuff that's still for sale. To show you guys these. This here is a pastel banana vanilla. Pastel banana vanilla. She was bred by a red stripe last season and produced five good eggs. One of which is a baby I'll be showing you guys. It's a uh, she produced a banana red stripe vanilla. So, um, really, really nice coloration on her, on her dorsal, it's sort of vanilla really kind of sticks out, kind of glows. I'm going to weigh anything that's for sale, so I'll show you guys here. What everything's weighing currently, today is the 23rd of January. So this girl is currently at 1,330 grams. So she's still getting some weight back from laying a clutch of eggs. She was only about 1,600 grams when she laid her laid her eggs. So, um, so anyways, she's putting weight back on. As you can see, she's doing good. Everything is eating frozen thawed unless otherwise specified. And she is available for $700. Proven breeder female. This is a banana. Pastel Vanilla. Very, very nice looking female. $700. She's currently at 1,300 grams and she is a proven breeder. This beast right here is a Pastel Mystic Potion. Pastel Mystic Potion. So it's a Pastel Mystic Mojave. Proven breeder, she's laid two big clutches, or I guess aren't big clutches, they're six eggs, six, six or seven egg clutches. Um, but she's a big girl, um, definitely good to go again, looks really awesome. 
She is a thousand dollars, and we'll see how much she weighs. Make sure that's zeroed out. So it's gonna be harder for her. Two thousand three hundred and uh, you can see that. <laughs> All right, she is at two thousand three hundred and forty-two grams. Forty-eight fifty. 2,300 and, holy man, that's bouncing all over the place. I'm not touching anything. I hate my hands. It's kind of bouncing. But 23 plus 100 grams, okay? And she's $1,000. $1,000 for Pastel Mystic Potion. Proven breeder female. Get her going now. This right here is a Killer Blast. Super Pastel. Pinstripe Spider. Um, I call it Killer Blast. Kevin McCurley's book that he wrote calls it the Killer Blast. Garrick DeMeyer, Brian Barczyk, a whole bunch of other big breeders call it a Killer Blast. For some people, you might call it a Killer Spinner or a Super Spinner Blast or a Super Blast or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, it's a Super Pastel a Pinstripe Spider. She has produced a good number of clutches. I think she's laid like three or four clutches for me so far. Really good eater, good breeder. Um, she does get like some slight wobbling or weirdness with her on um, the whole spider thing, but overall really good snake. As you can see, she she eats, she breeds, and she does everything. She is at 1,766 grams, 64 grams. So 1,764 grams. She laid a clutch last year. Uh, actually, for three years in a row, she laid clutches. Um, She's on sale for four hundred and fifty dollars. Um, a lot of people are afraid of the whole spider gene thing. So, again, um, if you want her, you can have her for four hundred and fifty bucks plus shipping. Um, being that she's a, a lower price, uh, unless you get some other animals and stuff, there will be uh, shipping fees included with this. Adults cost a lot more to ship, especially and it's colder. So, but she is a super awesome animal. Um, she doesn't sell for the four fifty. And obviously she she'll be staying here. She's super nice. She's one of the first. I produced this girl back in 2012. So, um, and she was produced by a bumblebee to a lemon blast pairing. Really, really nice, killer blast female. This right here is a soul sucker, 100% het desert ghost male. He produced the very first, the world's very first soul sucker desert ghost. And this, again, this is a soul sucker, het desert ghost, male, proven breeder. And he produced the world's first desert ghost soul sucker. And he currently weighs 838 grams. 838 grams. And you can get this boy for 350 bucks. So you want to get into the desert ghost project with the nice breeder male. Um, with um, this, the Desert Ghost Soul Suckers look really awesome too. The coloration on them is more of like a, a titanium look, and so this is kind of more of like a brownish cream type look to it. Um, the the Desert Ghost Soul Sucker, um, it, it did I did end up selling it, um, but um, if the person who got it is watching, feel free to um, you know put a link to your page to show it off. But when it was here, there's more of like a titanium type look to it. Uh, coloration and stuff really cool looking very smooth um, and this boy um, again being 100 percent het for desert ghosts can make some really nice desert ghost babies this is again a soul sucker which is a hidden gene woma lesser and then het desert ghost 100 percent guaranteed nice breeder male staying along the lines of desert ghost stuff or het desert ghost stuff this is a Pastel Clown 100% Het Desert Ghost Possible Het Hypo. So, Pastel Clown 100% Het Desert Ghost Possible Het Hypo. And this is a male, and you can get this boy for $1,350. So for $1,350, you can get him. And he currently weighs... 421 grams, so 
Um, he'll be ready to breed by the following season, if not partway through this, this current season. So by this summer, he should be able to be breeding your females uh, this summer or coming into the next season, this late fall or whatever. So 420 grams on a pastel clown. 100% het desert ghost, possible het hypo male. Um, babies that are 100 grams cost more than this guy does what I've seen unless price has changed but $1,350 for this boy who's almost ready to breed and if you've seen desert ghost clown stuff this is a very vital animal to have in your collection talking about clowns this right here is a red stripe and he's a hundred percent het clown this is a male again red stripe 100 percent het clown if I do not get the $1,100 that I'm asking for him, he will be held back and going along with the Pastave Clown to try to make Red Stripe, or Pastave Red Stripe Clowns, um, Red Stripe Mojave Clowns, Pastave Clown, or I'm sorry, yeah, Red Stripe Pastel Clowns. So basically the Magma Project right here. And this boy is currently weighing 351 grams. 351 grams on a red stripe. Heck clown male. Not much longer, and he'll be able to breed as well. So, again, a nice red stripe. Heck clown male. So you can see the red stripe influence or coloration and pattern and all that kind of good stuff. Again, $1,100 for him. And if he doesn't sell, I'll be holding on to him to put to the Pastave Clown eventually. This right here is a Soul Sucker Possible Red Stripe. So this Soul Sucker looked a little bit different than some of the other Soul Suckers that I've produced. And I've produced a good handful of Soul Suckers. Uh, this boy might be carrying the Red Stripe gene. Not 100% sure. Um, but it's kind of got a little bit of lightness to the top of the head here, which... Some of the other soul suckers I've produced don't. The, the dorsal striping is a lot brighter and it's kind of got a little bit more different coloration along the sides, a little bit higher markings than like the traditional soul suckers that I've produced. So, um, so I believe this is a soul sucker red stripe, um, but because I can't guarantee it, I have it listed as a possible red stripe. So you can get this boy here for, where do I have it? Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. And I'm sorry, actually, actually, it's a female, not a, not a male. So let's uh, double check here. For some reason, I've been calling it a male, and here it's a. But let's say it's a female. Let's just double check. And of course, you get. So yeah, it's a female. And this girl weighs, currently weighs 147 grams. 147 grams. Soul sucker, possible red stripe, female. And you can get this girl for $400. If I had to guess, I'd, def I'd say this thing's probably got red stripe in it. It's like I said, it's a lot, a lot more enhanced looking, more brightness to it than a soul sucker typically has it um, on, on their body so a nice full stripe too which is really nice so this right here is a highway female so this is a gravel yellow belly female this is produced by the same father that produced that sizzler that I showed you guys earlier so um, it is it is technically possible het pied then. Um, the father was a possible het pied. I never proved him out, read him to any pied stuff to find out. But um, it definitely seemed like he had something kind of going on. But this is a highway female, and you can have her for $300. And she currently weighs 1,000, or I'm sorry, <laughs> 163 grams. 163 grams. 
Highway female, $300. Really nice looking highway female. Next up is a pastel highway female. Nice big pastel, well not big, but for us, for like a little over a year old snake. Um, nice pastel highway, so pastel, gravel, and yellow belly. And she is also possible het pied as well. Possible het pied. And she weighs 554 grams. 554 grams. And you can get this girl for 500 bucks. So for 500 bucks, you can get nice pastel highway female at 554 grams. I believe that's less than what babies are going for. Or I could be wrong. So pastel highway. This is also a sibling to the pastel highway and the sizzler. This is a pastel yellow belly, possible het pied. So nice, nice coloration on this girl. Oh, I'm sorry. This is actually a male. My bad. This is a male. I have to look at my little sheet here. Um, I had a th I had two females and a male of this, so um, so this is a male pastel yellow belly, and he currently weighs four hundred and sixty two grams. Four hundred and sixty four hundred and sixty two grams. So. Male of pastel yellow belly, so if somebody's getting into some stuff and they don't have a whole lot of money to spend and they want a male that's about ready to breed without spending more than 100 bucks, you can get this male. Um, I have them up for $75. $75 on this pastel yellow belly male, and he has possible het pied. So if you put some, put him to a pied of some sort, um, see if he proves out, that'd be cool. And then you might have a pastel yellow belly het pied. So, again, he is possible hat. This right here is a red stripe banana vanilla. And this is a female maker banana. So, banana, red stripe, vanilla. This was the baby from the pastel vanilla banana that I showed you guys earlier. Pastel, banana, vanilla, whatever. So, a um, little bit different looking than your typical banana red stripes. You got a little bit different coloration. That would be from the vanilla taking uh, into consideration on this animal. So, this thing currently weighs 108 grams. So, 108 grams. Took a little bit to get this male, and he is a male. Took him a little bit to get going, um, feeding wise and stuff. So he's been eating pretty decent now. Um, kind of took a couple meals off, then ate again, and stuff like that. But he last took uh, frozen thawed um, rat fuzzies. So so this right here. Believe is a pastel red stripe vanilla. Came from the same clutch as the snake I just showed you. And then I also have this one, which I believe is a pastel red stripe without vanilla. And actually, now that I have them, I I had it where the tubs were kind of mixed up. They're both males, but um, one of them is a little bit different looking than the other one. But now I can't remember which one it was that I thought had the vanilla in, but they're both males. They came from the same clutch as the banana red stripe vanilla. They're definitely pastel red stripe. One of them, I believe, is vanilla. Actually, I think this one is the one that has vanilla, just the way that they're looking. This one's a little bit less... Um, speckled and stuff, a little bit cleaner. Uh, so I think this is the one that has vanilla in it. 
I think what was throwing me off was the head. So, um, anyways, they're both males. This one right here. Make sure it's zeroed here. Weighs 147 grams. And this is the one that I believe is just the pastel red stripe. And this one I believe has vanilla in. It's a little bit creamier and smoother looking. And that one is 159 grams. 159 grams. So, um, I have the pastel red stripe at $200, and the pastel red stripe vanilla or possible vanilla at $300. So, 300 and 200. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to have vanilla in. This is right here. It's a little bit different coloration and shading, as you can see. This right here is a Mystic Het Desert Ghost Male. Mystic Het Desert Ghost Male. So Mystic, you can tell by the way the belly is. Kind of comes to sharp stop. And this is... 222 grams, so Mystic, Het Desert Ghost, male, and I have him priced at $250, so $250 for a Mystic, Het Desert Ghost, male. This is a Mystic, Het Desert Ghost, female. So again, a Mystic, Het Desert Ghost, female. Sibling to the Mystic Het Desert Ghost Male. And this girl's at 233 grams. 233 grams. If you were to breed these two together, you can get Super Mystic Desert Ghosts. Pretty awesome. Uh, they are, this girl is $300. $300 for this girl. And this right here is a male. Pastave Het Desert Ghost. So Pastave Het Desert Ghost. So Pastel Mojave 100% Het Desert Ghost. It is a male and he weighs 196 grams. 196 grams. If we were to take this male and breed it to the um, Mystic Het Desert Ghost female, you can get Pastel Mystic Potion Desert Ghosts. Be able to get Pastel Mystic Potion Desert Ghosts with this, with this pairing. And this was from a different clutch. So this one and the Mystic Head Desert Ghost stuff is not related. This right here I had listed as a Mojave Het Desert Ghost female, but then when I sexed it again, it almost looked like it was a male. Mojave Het Desert Ghost. I'll show you guys here. So initially when I sexed it, it looked like it was female, but now when I go like this, it almost looks like there's like hemipenes that want to pop out, but don't. So I'm going to list it as a male. But see, usually the hemipenes are really defined and want to pop right out. Where these just kind of hold the bulge. So I was going to sell it as a Mojave Het Desert Ghost male at $100. And if it ends up being a female, you get lucky because females are, they cost more than males do, so... But anyways, his weight, or her, is 180 grams. This is 180 grams. This is a Mojave Het Desert Ghost. Again, I initially had it listed as a female. I changed it to male because it looks like, so I do every so often, any, anytime I see or check on things and stuff, 
you know, to double check and make sure I'm not wrong. If it's really pronounced as a male, obviously I leave it at that. But a lot of times when I see female, I I still double check again just because. But this way, like I said I showed you guys before. Again, the it looks like hemipenes want to protrude out, but they're not really popping. They're just kind of this kind of bulged out, but it looks like the hemipenes would be there. So I have it listed as a male for hundred dollars. If it's a female, then you got a good deal because female Mojave Hat Desert Ghost should go for at least 200 if not more. And this one, from one of the last clutches of the season for me, is a Pastel Hat Desert Ghost male. Um, so I'll tell you right off the bat, he is not the greatest eater. He's only 77 grams. Should be at least 100 by now. Um, it's hard for me to get live stuff, and um, he does eat frozen thawed, but um, it's kind of seldom, and there's been times where I've had to assist feed, so I have him at $100. Um, honestly, if you get um, a snake and you want to add him on there, um, I'll probably throw him in for free if you want him. Um, good way to get in the Desert Ghost program. If you're feeding live rats, you'd be sitting fine, or live mice, um, he'll eat. Um, this, is, this is a pastel het desert ghost. So, pastel and desert ghost go awesome together. If you get the sport to size and breed them to some desert ghost stuff, you can get some nice pastel desert ghosts. Um, nice lineage coming from the um, desert ghost stuff that I had. I got my desert ghost stuff from like Justin, Kabelka, and, and Levance um, from uh, Straight Fire. And some really good stuff, good lines. So, just this is like one of the pickiest, pickiest eaters I've had. Um, but again, I usually I'm only able to get frozen thawed, and I can seldomly get live, kind of here and there. So because of that, I would definitely throw him in for free if somebody wanted uh, to do a purchase and throw this boy in. Otherwise, I have him listed at hundred dollars. Pastel Hat Desert Ghost Mail. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, taking a look at those snakes. Again, some really cool ones that I'm going to be kind of holding back, you know, holding back because they're going to be a breeder loan. But I'm really excited about, um, hopefully, if I can jump back into stuff, I'll have a nice little handful of snakes that I still technically own that I can bring back into my um, collection to start working with right off the bat. Um, again, while they're with these people, they're going to be breeding and stuff. Some of the clutches are going to be mine. I still plan on doing shows with with at least uh, the one guy that's a little bit closer to me. Um, otherwise, uh, we're gonna, I'll be trying to get updates on stuff we're producing, get some videos and some pictures and stuff like that. So be sure to follow me here on YouTube because we got some pretty cool projects that are going to be working on. Again, I just won't have anything here physically, so it'll be kind of where I make a trip over to one place or the other, or they send me video clips and I put some stuff together and throw it on the YouTube channel or whatever. So... Uh, really excited about that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like I move my hands like Will Ferrell and Talladega Nights right now. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> um, but anyways, just wanted to let you guys know about that kind of stuff. Again, get a hold of me um, through the phone number, YouTube video messaging, uh, you, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Instagram, uh, or email me at hissyfitreptiles at gmail.com. And I will try to get back to you guys. It's going to be kind of a first come, first serve basis because I need to move stuff kind of quickly. Um, but you kind of see what I have. You saw some weights or the weights on everything. Um, showing you guys these animals. And um, if you have any questions or anything, you can also message me as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope to have more content for you. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And we'll talk to you guys later.